Right guys, back with another review on the channel here. Recently purchased myself a new North Face bag, so I'm going to make a video of it. Why not? Right, let's have a look at this. So, before I go into the bag, I'm just going to talk about the price. So this bag is actually £150, which is a little bit on the expensive side, but obviously North Face is a good brand. Um, it's all good quality stuff and uh, it's quite stylish and I was looking at a, a, a couple of uh, different bags online and they weren't very big a lot of them are not big when this one here is actually 40 liters so not only is it stylish because you look quite small and skinny if you want to make it that way it's actually big bag as well so it's 40 liters which I want something for um, both the gym Something I can keep the camera in, um, something I can keep my iPad in, things like that. So I want most of my gym equipment um, is, is, is quite bulky, you know. So that's why this is going to be my, my gym bag. I'm going to be using it every day. So I wanted to make sure that I was going to get something that was very good. When it comes to price, like I said, it was £150. They did have the exact same bag, but in um, a different color, like a navy blue. And then this was like a, a grayish color, so it wasn't like the same color, and that was discounted price to 110 pounds. So you're actually getting like 25% discount on that bag. But black is the best bag, and I just figured that if I'm going to use this for like the next five years, I want to make sure that I get the color that I want. And I, I wear a lot of white and black stuff, like I got on now, so it's gonna like match nicely. So that was my reason for getting this. Um, all right, let's get, take you into having a look at the bag. So to start off with, like I said, it can be very skinny or very wide, depending on how you do it. So you literally just pull this thing here. So you pull this clip tight, and it will keep the bag nice and tight. If you want to make it wider, you can make it wider, and the bag will come out like so. Also, it has like this nice pocket down the side here where you can put like water bottles and stuff. Same on the other side. The straps. They feel very sturdy, like they're not going to break easily, very good quality. Also has this like padding around, this very good padding that's very, very comfortable. It's called Flex, flex Vent and it, and it actually is very sturdy but also flexible at the same time. Very nice stylish um, bag, feels very, really comfortable when you have it on. Um, Obviously, it's completely adjustable. Very nice, comfortable bag. It just fits my back perfectly. Um, yeah, the strap is nice and comfortable. Nice, good pad into it as well. Um, let's take you into the first compartment now. We'll have a look at that first. Everything I will say, everything about this bag just feels like quality. And that's what you want when you buy a product. Um, so you don't mind spending. If you're going to use it for five years, then buy a better product. Better. Uh, quality product so this is the first compartment uh, that has a nice little um, attachment on the top there as you can see I've actually got this opened up see it, the size of that if, if I put my hand in there it's very very wide it goes actually really wide and also it's very tall so you can really stick a lot in this bag I actually missed the compartment if you have a look here this is actually the first compartment which is attached directly onto the back and if you have a look inside it's got a nice little um, badge there that says since 1966 these packs now featuring recycled materials have been made to see you throughout a lifetime of adventure where will yours take you I quite like that um, quite like that saying I know it's like quite corny and stuff, but it just makes you feel like you're buying into a, a company, a brand, a product. And um, yeah, it's very good. So there's a compartment right on the back there. Obviously, perfect size for like a laptop, has a good padding on the, both the back and the, in the middle. And then there's also another compartment. This stretches, by the way, all the way down to the bottom. So perfect for like a laptop, um, iPad, like I said. Um, it's obviously a thin compartment that, but 
just perfect for a laptop. Um, this is obviously the main compartment which I'm going to be sticking most of my gym equipment and most of my stuff in. Um, if we go back and now have a look at the next compartment, yes, there's many compartments. I did have a look at one North Face bag before this and it, it was just kind of one compartment so that's not the reason that I want like when I'm coming to choosing a bag I want to have it separate compartments out so this next compartment here again has many different compartments inside so there's a compartment in there nice little material there it's got a zip pocket here that opens up into another compartment and then it has like these nice little flaps here that you can put, I don't know, toothbrush, whatever you want to include in there. Also, there's like a nice fur material inside here. They did say to me that this bag is waterproof, but only on the bottom section. So for if you're traveling and stuff. So I'm not quite sure what they meant by that because it seems to be just like this area, but then this area is not going to be waterproof. So it's kind of just like this area along the bottom. Again, it has straps here. You can make tighter or wider if you want. Um, that's it for that compartment. We'll close that one up and we'll go on to the end compartment now. It has a nice, um, like a, a nice little flap here that I like. You can kind of just pick your bag up and carry it like so, or if you want to carry it on the top there, which is also good. Um, so yeah, there's another compartment under here now. This is like, this feels like it would be waterproof, looks like it would be waterproof. We obviously have to test it out. This is a nice compartment that has like a really good fur, a nice warm material. Not sure what you'd want to store in there, but yeah, that's that. And then it finally has another compartment again that opens up a nice cool little design here that opens up a flap like so. This I feel would be perfect for storing things like dirty trainers in. Uh, flip flops, yeah, as it's got like a nice breathable material on both sides there, and that is pretty much it, guys. There's not much more to show you with this bag. Um, yes, it's expensive, yes, what do you expect? No face, but the quality and the feel and the everything that you would want from a bag, a backpack, is, is with this product, in my opinion. Um, it's just perfect. I can't wait to use it, I can't wait to put my gym stuff in there, try it out, and um, yeah, hopefully I'll be using this bag for many, many years to come, and that's why I invested in the money, and the colour, you could call me stupid for choosing the colour and paying 25% more, but I just figured like, I, if I'm going to use forever, I want to be choose the best colour. Right, the next video that I'm going to actually be making right now, I'll probably uh, post two different separate videos, but I'm going to be taking you through what I'm actually going to be putting in this bag, which is going to be all the, the gym stuff that I use in the gym. But if you have liked this video, please subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.